Hi guys, this is Ratchet Straw, and we are playing Criminal Case for Edition, Case 39, Kicking the Bucket. Let's unlock Chapter 2, and Elliot, you know where the prince is. Speak for yourself, I think I hack into the local surveillance camera network. And at the exact corners of the street where Prince Abio just showed up in Soveto. The prince is in Soveto? I think we need to go find him quick. Okay. Oh god, you're just enjoying yourself. Is that even a prince? I think that's the other guy we met. Alright, let's see, let's get Soveto Street. Might need it. Oh, there you are. Where's the wheelbarrow? Can't see it. Oh, there you are. Man, we must have missed you. I can't see the prince anywhere. This gun isn't a good sight. We know someone's after the prince. Where did they got to him? Let's click a sample of the sauce on the gun's handle quick. He just found a torn painting. The only way we'll know what it shows is by taping it up. I don't know what you expect to find in that wheelbarrow, but I'm not about to get dirt under my fingernails. It's all yours, Katia. Yeah. Really? You don't want to be dirt and I have to do everything here? Dirty. Let's first do a torn painting. Okay, come on, dude. Where are you hiding? For Kyla. Oh. Oh, that's the well she was drowned in. This painting looks familiar. It's the village where Arvati was killed. A well spy the dedication reads for Kyla, a side by Tempisile. Tempisile never met her, she knew the victim when we spoke to her. I don't really cipher on our chat. Ah, oh, just that. And for what uh, did you send the picture? What's the reason? Ah, we'll see when we talk to her. Let's just, uh, collect this, whatever that is, on, uh, the gun handle. Are you kidding me? You collect us after the Southstorm hangar, Katia. If you're lucky, it'll give us a lead of whoever's after the prince. Let's get to Lars ASAP. Okay. Twelve hours. Alright, now this wheelbarrow. That? Ah, come on. We found rope. There was a bit of a rope in that wheelbarrow, Katia. Not sure what stick we'll go for, but if you want to say it to Lars, go ahead. Oh, already. I'm not gonna find out anything, any sample there, and do it with a microscope. No, send it to Lars. Just so you can have some work to do. Okay, now let's go talk to Tempisilla. That was still a Mitch Katia found this painting you gave Kyla. You never mentioned you knew her. I saw Mitch Katia, I was so flustered seeing the poor girl like that. We became friends recently, I'd see her hanging around the village, observing what was going on. So I approached her. I'm always happy to share Zulu culture with anyone eager to learn. The Kyla was ever with the ego. She had tons of questions about Zulu life, the comings and goings of the village. She brought me a milk turd as a thank you for my help, and in exchange I gave her this painting. 
the Basilia we believe that Kyla's intentions weren't so innocent. She was planning a murder in the village and was likely using you to gain insider info. Plotting a... a murder? What a fool I was, trusting her like that. Now I understand how she ended up dead. No evil deed goes unpunished. Let's just hope you didn't decide to punish her yourself, the Basilia. Okay. What about this language? Uh, if you're a local here, you're supposed to know it. Alright, whatever. Let's just wait for this to announce to finish. See in a bit. Let's check out this clear substance. Hey, Katia, here's what I found out about the substance on the gun. Dude, you're not really going to offer us a knock knock joke first. It hardly feels appropriate. Everyone's on edge knowing there's a mole in the team. The only one holding up okay is the pawn. Not that I'm implying suspicious, but. It is suspicious now. It's caught on everyone, bro. I still can't believe any of our friends would betray us. At least I know I can trust you and Katria. We'll see about that. And as I still have a case of so, I can tell you that the sauce of the guy was swept from a Willem New Wood. Elliot looked him up and it turns out Willem is Prince of Bure's bodyguard. Well, he does look like a bodyguard, so. Pew, so the gun didn't belong to a Sombra agent. And you're right, Tia. Willem might still be in Soveto. Let's go ask him about Prince Abioe quick. Yeah, where is he? You're supposed to be with him. And now, let's check out this rope. Dude, why did you find out about the rope that you found in Soveto? Under close dispatcher, I discovered kind of made a trace of milk turd on the rope. That gave me a hunch, so I took a look at the rope used to tie up a victim. And this rope you found and the one used to tie up Kyla are the same. What's particular about this type of rope is that it's used on sailing yachts, most called as an anchor line. So a killer goes yachting. High five! Wait, why do you seem so bummed up, bro? Um, I'm sure it's nothing. Come on, dude, we are among friends. What's bothering you? I just don't know how Angela could have failed to notice that Vitti was bound with yacht rope. She's normally so to rule. It must be distracted lately, bro. We're all worried about their behind a mole in the team. But Angela would never do anything to hinder us. You're right, Angela probably just needs a break. I'm glad it's cleared up, and now we know that our cure goes yachting. It's not a black mark against Jacob, Katria. Okay, <laughs> Wait, Angela didn't notice the rope and didn't tell us? That's a little suspicious. Alright, let's go talk to Willem. Gooey damn, Major. How can I help you? Mr. Nivwood, Major Katia and I work for the Marine. We're looking for Prince Abioe. We believe he narrowly escaped an attempt on his life, and while his would be assassin is no longer going to try, we desperately need to talk to him. Where is he? An attempt on his life? That the situation is even worse than I thought. I turned my back for a few moments to buy a melter and the prince ran off. I don't know where he is. What? Why would he run away from his own bodyguard? Beats me, and what's worse is that I lost the device I was using to track him. But if I know the prince, I'd bet he's got to the yacht club. I gotta head there to look for him. And we are going, so... I tell you, what kind of bodyguard is the person they are supposed to protect? I don't trust this one. If the prince is at the yacht club, we'd better go look for him. I suppose you're going to be our fifth suspect. Yeah, we only have four suspects so far. I can't wait to find you, dude. Okay. So much for Prince Abioe being here, he's nowhere to be seen. But you picked up a digital watch, Katia. What is this the tracking device for the mention? Let's unlock it to find out. And check out this piece of paper. Not only is it addressed to our it also has a key on it. You better recover the writing. Maybe it's a hotel key. Okay. Maybe. You never know. Alright, let's first unlock this digital watch.
Ooh, it's so showing the location. Where is he? Well done, Queen. I watched. Yeah, it definitely looks like a drag device the priest bodyguard told us about. Let's see what Elliot makes of it. Ah, nothing. Okay, thanks. Boring. And now this keychain and this paper. Here's Kyla, here's your key. I never want to see you again. Quanelle. So don't dress around. It just says, here's your key. I never want to see you again. Wow. And he was signed by Quanella with his childhood sweetheart. He said things were difficult with Kyle, but he never said they were over. We need to another chat with Quanella. Oh, what went wrong? Quanella, Meshkati, I found this note you left, Kyla. You failed to tell us you'd broken up. Of course you left that lying around. Well, it's like I told you, Kyla's career started taking its toll on our relationship. I resented her wanting to change with the suit her new lifestyle. She was constantly berating me for preferring milk to her to caviar, and she even insisted I learned African so I could make conversation with her new friends. And she wasn't even around half the time. Just a week ago, she ditched me to go to some island with no explanation. Ooh, you can't build a relationship on that, Mage Katia. So when she returned two days ago, I told her I just didn't feel the same about her since she'd changed. She might have been happy to forget her roots, but I wasn't. Well, let's hope you didn't forget the whole sense of reason to kill Kyla, because if you did, Mage Katia will find out. Ooh. So Kyla left for some island a week ago and only returned two days ago. Are you thinking what I think, Katia? Kyla must have been on a summer island. We may not know how many assassins came to Africa, Katia, but at least now there's one less loaded gun roaming around. Okay, you are we are one of them and how many are there we'll see. Alright, we gotta wait for this GPS watch to finish. See you in a bit. Let's check out this GPS watch. So what's Katia right there? Is this watch the device the bodyguard was used to track Prince Abioe? It sure is, Katia. The watch is linked to a serial device carried by the prince. Which allow me to pinpoint his exact location. You'll find Prince Abio at the Zulu village. So Prince Abio showed up at the village after all. We're finally going to be able to ask him why someone wants him dead. Let's go, Katia. Finally we meet. Your Highness, we are from the Berea. We are here to warn you that you have scarcely avoided an attempt on your, your life. What? Assassination attempt? I thought I'd be safe here. I'd be keeping a low profile already after cast to blend in. If you could just tell us why a criminal organization wants you dead. I have no idea, but I can't stay. I have to hide. Your highness, wait up. We can help. Darn it, Katia. We spent so long trying to find the prince only for him to run off. Let's hope we can corner him before Zora makes another move. Ah, you're such a coward, dude. This case is turning into a disaster, Katia. We're still no close to figuring out who killed Kyla. But we do know that everything seems to revolve around this yacht club. Not only did the victim work here, we also know that our cure goes yachting. Could this murder be linked to our victim's public life, rather than her sombra secret? And speaking of secrets, what's the deal with Prince Abioya? I can't believe he ran away from us. It's hard to imagine he's innocent when he won't talk. I resent that accusation, Mitch Katrina. Your Highness, I told you to stay behind me. It's not safe. Whoa, who's shooting? Who's shooting? No, you hit him! Oh god. Willem! Willem! Ah, come on. Looks like someone did try to... I mean, he was uh, aiming for uh, Prince Abioe, but uh, instead Bodyguard got here. And then he got shot. It looks like someone hired someone else to do the job instead of Kyla. Alright, we're gonna stop. Here we go. Continue playing Chapter 3. So, thank for watch. Look, do you like this video? I'll see you again. Goodbye.